the Earth, our planet, home to millions of different species. But only one species dominates everything. Human beings. There are nearly seven billion of us living on the Earth, and the human population is increasing by more than two people every second. 200,000 people every day. Nearly 80 million people every year. Each additional life needs food, energy, water, shelter, and hopefully a whole lot more. Today, we're living in an era in which the biggest threat to human well-being, to other species, and to the Earth as we know it, might well be ourselves. The issue of population size is always controversial because it touches on the most personal decisions we make. But we ignore it at our peril. There's absolutely no doubt at all that the world's population will continue to grow. The only question is, by how much? More than a billion people on the planet already lack access to safe, clean drinking water. And we know things are going to get more difficult as the population continues to grow. We need to double the amount of food that we have available to us as soon as possible. Such a scale of change will leave no one untouched. Keep in mind that when the Titanic sank, the first class cabins went to the bottom just as quickly as the steerage. I was born into a world of just under two billion people. Today, there are nearly seven billion of us. Whenever I hear those numbers, I can honestly say I find it incredible, triple the number of human beings in what seems like the blink of an eye, and the world transformed utterly. Human population density is a factor in every environmental problem I've ever encountered, from urban sprawl to urban overcrowding, disappearing tropical forests to ugly sinks of plastic waste, and now, the relentless increase of atmospheric pollution. I've spent much of the last 50 years seeking wilderness, filming animals in their natural habitat and, to some extent, avoiding humans. But over the years, true wilderness has become harder to find. I can't pretend that I got involved with filming The Natural World 50 years ago because I had some great banner to carry about conservation. Not at all. I, I uh, have always had a huge pleasure in, in just watching The Natural World and seeing what happens. 